Hello children, today is World Mental Health Day and that means politicians tell us what they're going to do about mental health. Good mental health is more than the absence of a mental health problem. This Mental Health Awareness Week, the focus is on thriving, not just surviving. We want our communities to be able to talk about mental health. As Commissioner, I am reassured to see that in West Mercia, this is very much in place. But politicians don't always tell the truth. This man seemed very nice when he was elected on his promises. He liked animals and said no to vivisection. No, 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 no. He said no to fox hunting. No, 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 no. And he loved children and made sure that every child received a state education and his laws still remain today in Germany, such as the one when he said no to homeschooling. No, 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 no. But he didn't like the mentally ill and got the people he employed to get people they employed to kill them because they thought the cost and effort to the state was not worth it. And the mentally ill was just the start. It went on to become the Holocaust. Do you ever wonder just how such terrible things happened and if it could happen today? It was because everyone was too frightened to ask questions or just couldn't be bothered. Today that sort of thing is illegal and we have a police force to stop it. The police and crime commissioner, who is a politician, employs a chief constable, who employs police officers so when the commissioner makes commitments to mental health you can be sure that down the chain of command, officers like Inspector Paul Arnold won't say things like this. The mistake was allowing the criminal complaint to be investigated at all bearing in mind your well-documented mental health issues. Now that sounds a bit like Hitler wanting to kill the disabled because Inspector Arnold doesn't want to provide a police service to the disabled. But what did the Chief Constable's Professional Standards Department say? Well they agreed with Inspector Paul Arnold because they think police resources should be deprived from the mentally disabled as effective management of police resources. However, the IPCC found that West Mercia Police had a force-wide disability discrimination policy, recommending Inspector Paul Arnold received a third management action. That's right. This was the third time professional standards had failed to recognize an injustice. The IPCC said, In my view the opinions expressed by Chief Inspector Arnold are highly insensitive. It is reasonable to expect a police force to investigate credible allegations of criminal behavior, no matter whom they are reported by. The personal opinions of Chief Inspector Arnold are in my opinion detrimental to West Mercia Police. As a high-ranking police officer representing the force his opinions could be misconstrued as the force's stance on dealing with persons with mental health disabilities. Further the inference can be drawn that West Mercia Police as a whole may not treat allegations made by persons with mental health issues as being potentially credible. This expressed opinion could have a severe impact on public confidence in West Mercia Police. Sir Children, can you see how the Holocaust could never happen again?